cut the other culture. Yeah, so you'll see a, a, a guy who's had a black girlfriend, all of a sudden he's got buzz cut, like, yeah. clean shape up. Nah, yeah. 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 I like that. Yeah. I like that. I like that. Like that. <laughs> they yeah. shave their hair because they start losing it. Because they're so stressed <laughs> being around this black girl complaining about shit all the fucking time. <laughs> That's why they got to shave their nah, hair. Nah, bro. White guys with black girlfriends, they, they, they grow step, a beard they because the there's up. more cushion when they get slapped the fuck out of them. <laughs> 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 I think I think the black girlfriend effect. Hmm, it might be a protective instinct, bro. You think? Protective. Yeah. Do you guys? Do you guys? Have you ever had black girlfriends? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you, have you ever had white girls? Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. What's your favorite? <laughs> <laughs> We love them all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, Just, really? We love them all. Yeah. That means white. Ooh, yeah. Nah. <laughs> 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 that means white. Hey, let me know. No. Translation. Get your fans. Get them. <laughs> Y'all think, man. What happens next? What, what was the last thing that was said? They, they, they were laughing and shit. What was said? They said, uh. Oh, oh no. Kendrick fans, get them. Kendrick, talking about Kendrick Lamar. So he's, he's, he's making a reference. To Kendrick Lamar claiming that you know um, Drake don't like black girls and shit like that, or so on and so forth, and you know black family all that bullshit. Okay. Right. So Schultz said what he said, and I get it. He's a, uh, a comedian, right? For all intents and purposes, was he out of bounds? No, he's not out of bounds. He's a comedian, like you said. A comedian comedians get to and he didn't say anything inflammatory he said a stereotypical thing that's been said for forever and not just stereotypical um uh statistical black women have the highest rates of being perpetrators of women of being perpetrators of domestic violence also so um uh yeah and then just to give people context right a lot of people don't understand or know most men brothers don't know but black women know the black girlfriend effect is a swirler movement as to where black women get with white men and change them into literally nigger light so they get these white boys and as they said travis kelsey is a perfect example right so i kept travis kelsey was with his black girlfriend yeah now that nigga look like a lumberjack you know what i'm saying like a lumberjack at a truck st truck stop or truck driver you know what i'm saying so what these black women do is they tell black men that they they ain't can't don't want right but then they get these white boys and literally turn them into into to the black, you know what I'm saying, the black version of a white boy. So that's what the black girlfriend effect is. Aaron? Um, I would have to know the audience in the room to know if he was out of line. Um, locker room talk, no. Barbershop talk, no. But I wouldn't appreciate if there were black women around. I think it's a certain level of decorum that, you know, should be exercised when your audience is a certain you know what i mean like i there's just a there's a time and place for everything was it so egregious the way i'd be like trying to punch this dude in his fucking beak no i mean because the shit was funny and to some degree it was true i would imagine um again there's no absolutes here but you're not gonna be saying this shit around my wife daughter mother friend like come on man relax that shit yeah i don't really see myself doing a bunch of laughing i don't know if i would have got instantly like hostile but i probably would have i probably would have said something direct about it you know but i don't think i would have got over the top about it but i probably would have said something direct just because people don't even date the other cultures to be even be having a comment about the women well i think that's also I, I guess I kind of assume he already had that experience to speak from it. And I think the other guys, I don't know, the, the nature of the conversation seemed really comfortable to begin with. Like that was already a known thing. Mm -hmm. Like this is my first time seeing it. But like if they were sitting there talking for a couple hours, having a cigar, I probably would have figured out by then that he's had a few black women and has a experience. I don't know, just the conversation seemed jocular enough to where they weeded out some formalities. Now, if they haven't, then yeah, that's back to being presumptuous. Don't 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 take liberties. But they they cop plea at the end by saying we love all the women. So what they didn't set a standard for him. 
again, I don't know what was said before. If this is a first time conversation, yeah. The the it, presumptions were made. Liberties are being taken. But if a standard was set already, look at I these. Mean, you think they set a standard? Yeah, it may potentially sure, and maybe that that standard didn't. Maybe he didn't cross it because we say some shit about white folks all the time. Thank Why you. did you apologize? Huh? Why did Why they? Apologize? Apologize? Because because they because they 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 pussy for one. Who one, apologized? The the shits and giggles guys, the the foreign dudes, the UK dudes, UK dudes apologize. The black dudes? No, yeah, yeah, the black dudes. Why so did they, they apologize for what? They apologize because they have a, a podcast, even though, like you said, American black women especially are not the major supporters of it, right? So um, to not be canceled, to, to avoid canceling, they apologize. Black women did not accept it in the first place. They all said it was fake and this and all these other things. Right, we get but they, that's why they apologize, because they pussy. Oh, oh they saving face. Then, yeah. Oh, look at this. Today's episode, mm -hmm. uh, quick PSA, quick acknowledgement. Mm -hmm. um, so, if you know, you know. If you don't, that's fine. Um, but we just wanted to address something that's happening at the minute. Yep. This past weekend, uh, there's been a couple of clips going around uh, from when we did a session on the Flagrant podcast um, while we were on our US tour. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, there were a few jokes made um, that were incredibly inappropriate. One specific, bro. Incredibly. One specifically pertaining to black women. Yeah. Um, and in the clip, um, Andrew was making a joke. Uh, I'm not even going to get into specifics. Making a uh, like, frankly, like racist joke. Yeah. And we were laughing at it. Mm -hmm. And to give, there's, there's. First of all, before we get into like specifics or anything like that, obviously, there's just literally no excuse. There is no excuse. Agreed. Um, and. Fight or flight is a real thing. Like it is, yeah. Fight or flight is a real thing. And it's so not easy to say, but it, when you're in those situations, you you look at it through a lens of like, bro, if it was me, I promise you I'll stand up, I'll kick them cameras down. Yeah. I'll smack homeboy in the face. Yeah. I'll say this, I'll do that. But when you're in there, you're in shock. You're in shock. And all you want to do is move on. Yeah, yeah. All, all, bro, move on is the fucking do, word, bro. All like, you want to do is fucking move on. Just move on to the next thing. Yeah. Just move on to the next thing. There's and so like many we had times. to say a few times, bro, just move on. Just move just on. Move on. so many different topics. You were like, move on, move on, move on. And yeah. It's not even like about pity laughs or anything, but we just wanted to get, get out of that situation. Get of the, literally get out of that situation, keep the ball rolling. And we thought it was going to be more of like a, a bro's Chat, yeah, it, just, it, it ended yeah, up being something that ended up being be. something that's like really, really hurt people that yeah. look to us for support and look mm. to us to feel protected. And protected is the main thing yeah. that I wanted to discuss is that it is our duty to protect you guys. Facts. Um, and, and what the? F Put him in the fucking bedroom. Get him out of here. Come on. Yo, what are they talking about? They're saying yeah. they were sitting there shook. They're goofy, man. Goofy, goofballs. Yep. See, there you go. It was sitting there shook and just wanted to move on. What? What? what, what they got gun points? If they felt like that, then they should have said something. That's what I'm saying. Right. Before we get into today's episode, we mm -hmm. uh, hurt people that yeah. look and and again, not be the ones to stand up and kick the cameras down. And we fucked it on that occasion we did. it's not going to happen again and it's about being human it's about mm. realizing that you don't know what you prepared for you don't know how to prepare for something, something you don't know that you about. don't know yeah. what's going to happen yeah and once it's happened one time you're like fuck all right you learn from your mistakes um and that's literally that's learn, literally, literally learn from your mistakes, yeah we man. fucked it and we're like we're sorry you we definitely you definitely do apologize it's for me they froze you know what that tells me that they have very little investment in the in the, in the race conversation altogether. Yeah, it's don't. just not that serious for them. Because if it, if if, if it was like, serious for them, they would have. I wouldn't say crashed out, but addressed it. Because well, things that are serious to you, you address. Well, well, but but Aaron, they're saying they're saying that they just wanted to move on. So that doesn't tell me that they were apathetic at all. It just tells me that they were uncomfortable with what was being said and they thought it was wrong. Yeah, that's yeah. not, that's not apathetic, theory. just not as invested. If they were all fully invested, like principal level investment, 
they would have said something. Well, well what I'm, what I'm spec, well, just based on what they're saying, I don't see a non invest. I don't see apathy. I see, I see weak. That's what I'm saying. There's not so okay. I, apathy and investment are not that. There's two extremes, but there's a spectrum that they fall somewhere in the middle. Okay. I don't think they give a shit enough. Like, if you said something about their mother, they're more invested in their own mothers. They're not going to let that fly, I would assume. Right? But they can still feel a way without being full tilt investment, like crash out ready. So, I guess my thing is, though, they said it won't ever happen again. That's PR talk. I understood, but I'm going off of what he's saying. And so... The benefit of the dollar being given where they don't, they're not, this is not their, their shtick to be talking about race relations. However, the gentleman said that he won't ever let this happen again. Yeah. So basically he's saying they're going to turn down, either turn down interviews with anybody that's controversial or tell them beforehand that they won't be participating in anything race related. That's all that means. Right? I was going to say avoidance. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. So, so, so that, that's, that's all that means. And again, like I said, uh, regardless of what, I don't, I don't, I don't, everybody is like, this is a comedian, okay, who who has who did have a relationship with a black woman at some point in time or whatever, so on and so forth, right? So the, the, it's a comedian that told jokes. It wasn't anything flagrant. It wasn't anything crazy. Again, it's just regular jokes. And I, I hate this sensitivity that niggas get when a white person does the same thing that a nigga does. How many how many white jokes have black people told, men and women, right? So the fact of the matter, he says something on a the, it's called the flagrant podcast. He's a well known fucking comedian. Whether you believe he's funny or not, dude makes fucking millions of dollars to be funny. Okay. He has the official motherfucking comedian card membership, whatever you want to call it. Right. Another big thing to it, I'm going to show after this. So it's not just that. So everybody trying to make it seem like it's only this. It's not only this. These brothers had something that black women were already hot about that they said previous to this thing. So it's coupled with the clip I got. And the Andrew Schultz shit. You feel me? So basically, you got two men that aren't highly, highly attracted to black women. Like I said, they deal with both. You saw, we all know what that means. You said, who you like more? And they didn't say black women unequivocally. That means, hey, man, hey, we 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 deal with them. But you know what we like, but you can't say that. And like Aaron said, because of PR and you don't want to be the, you know, the UK coons. You know what I'm saying? You, you got to play the game. You got to give this fucking apology and make it seem like you really, really care when you don't. Yeah. Because the crazy part about this, these are these niggas are across the water, bro. Black women, American black women were the maddest and had the most to say. And they don't fuck with them in any kind of way, bro, at all. So that, that's why that's why I say they pussies were even issuing the apology because that's not their demographic. They don't get any fucking support from them. You know, it travels across the Atlantic Ocean faster than any ship or plane alike. Okay, I understand that. I I don't really agree with the sentiment about what black people do. White people should be able to do also. I don't know if that if that 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 justifies anything. No, I I, I, I would say that there's limits to that. I'm not saying that is an absolute, but there are things that black people can do that white people should be able to do. For example walk into a black owned store right so there are limits to that it's not that you know and i just think that this falls within the limit when appropriate you know what i mean because i mean i've heard black people say some egregious shit about white folks in public and 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 it's you know we let it fly i don't see like i said i'm i, I wouldn't i would say something if there were a black woman around you're not going to get away with that in front of me with a black woman around. But if it's locker room talk, we're shooting the shit, and especially if I know you, all right. I mean, I, I thought it was funny. Because I, I a black woman will tell you that they will go upside a motherfucker's head quicker than a white woman would. She just is essentially rewording the whole beard joke that he made. So there's got to be some truth to it. I thought it was funny. And if a black man told me that joke, I would laugh at it. So because he's white, 
I, I don't it, it just doesn't cross any bounds for me as long as it's kept in private to me that's appropriate locker room talk but don't you say that shit in front of no black woman not in front of me Oh no 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 yeah 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 man comedy is is is, is the, no though you can't apply that bro if you, if you say that white people can't say certain things you can't you, you you eliminate literally the greatest comedians of all time you eliminate Eddie Murphy you eliminate um Dave Chappelle you eliminate um uh, just everybody bro again uh, the racial aspect okay. of it, it I'm sorry go ahead you know what yeah but they tell white jokes they tell jokes plenty of jokes about white people oh no you're talking about comedian I thought you were saying like the double standards that exist no no, no. We're, I'm, I'm strictly speaking to this 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 matter and it being that it's a comedian that told a joke so that's why i say the whole premise of this to make it an excuse out of a comedian that tells jokes for a living and he didn't say anything flagrant he didn't say anything just outrageous you know what i'm saying it's it's just a knee-jerk reaction and again like i said it's coupled with this because this can happen first let me play it look at the della reese scene in harlem nights where she went out back with eddie murphy Niggas think that's the most hilarious thing since you know what I mean? Chinese checkers. Yeah, and the white yeah, and the white hey, the white dude that left his family for sunshine. That was a joke against white people there itself. Like you know what I'm saying? You know, so you guys even hear my microphone? Yeah. What? Can you even hear my sound effects? No. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I appreciate it. Wow, what happened? Wait, Fantastic Froze. All right, he's trying to play his name. Hold on a second. No, Fantastic Blink. No, he's frozen. He's frozen. Uh-oh. Hold on a second. Aaron, you can talk. Okay. Yeah. Um, no, nah, I, I think like I say, there's there's levels to shit. There's 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 boundaries and standards. Um I, I just don't think that the way I saw that, those men in that setting, I don't think it was unappro inappropriate. And now I fantastic looks alive. Um yeah, yeah. I'm back. It was, that was me. I thought it was y'all. It was me. I don't know. Oh. Can you hear me? Was that, was that you dropping French fries earlier? No, I wasn't dropping no fucking French fries. The no, that wasn't me. No, no, no. That was hemp earlier, but hemp is hemp back or whatever. No, well, we're looking at the stand. Oh, okay, the sounds of no, 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 yeah. Jesus. Ooh, thank God we ain't from here. Hold on, pause. Pa I you think he's doing me. he's touching the stand. <laughs> Test, huh? test, 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 test. Y'all can hear me? It's good. Yeah. Sound effect. Do sound effects. Mm -hmm. All right. Wow. Shit like that. Shit like yeah, that. Yeah, you check is good. Thanks, guys. Thanks for yeah. nothing. Go ahead. <laughs> we didn't know. No, no, no. I've seen the least bodies so far. Oh, yeah. thank God we ain't from here. I'm a Texas girl. You ain't offending me, none. <laughs> 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 you see that ain't like you see. We'll still go a couple days. Maybe we'll find out. But yeah, yeah. I, I seem like two or three. Hey, but what did y'all So so listen, you got dudes that are in one of the black capitals. Hamp. These dudes, like I said, is their American two tour from the UK. This is why I say black people, we let black women get away with and let them overblow shit because people that aren't doing this, they don't follow the fucking breadcrumbs that leads up to the you know the main thing. This happened before that. Then directly motherfucking came behind it was the Andrew Schultz thing. They said that. No one provoked them. It was no whatever that the, you know, the mixed dude said he didn't see no baddies in Atlanta. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And then you get the shit to where, you know, you got the Andrew Schultz shit going on or whatever, whatever. So now, of course, American black women gonna be mad. So, so now we gotta counsel these guys. They aren't protecting us. And it's simply because of their preference, bro. Again, you know you can't have no preference other than you know who. 
type, though. Bad is the type. But facts. <laughs> so what makes the girl bad? It varies. Though. It matters how you own it. Okay. It can be a like a skinny girl who wears the fuck out of being a skinny girl. Mm -hmm. and, she just, and then you've got a thick thing who just owns the shit out of being a thick thing. Mm -hmm. it's bad is bad is bad. That's a PR answer. A PR answer? Yeah. They're all beautiful. If you have... Man, I'm not I saying everyone's beautiful. I just told you Atlanta's okay. clap. <laughs> I never said... To say Atlanta's clap is wild. What the fuck is clap? That, that it's like like pretty much like cooked for us, right? Or mm -hmm. dead, or, or washed, or for a dub, right? I guess it's their version of a dub. Mm -hmm. So so that's what I'm saying. For these dudes to say that this is really where it started, you feel me? And then it turned into the other shit because it's again to say Atlanta, again the home of the motherfucking the the baddies. You know what I'm saying? The the BBLs and the natural. Come on now, let's get out of here, man. What are we doing? So Atlanta don't got no chicks now. That's what they said. That's, that was unprovoked on a black women's podcast, bro. So then why did they do this? This see, this renders the apology what? Just PR? Exactly. Yeah. That's all it is. We 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 yeah. can see. So I what saw we, that. I saw that when you played it the first time. So what do we do then? So what I'm saying is when we start when I'm looking at the rooting thing. This cancel culture is alive and well, right? People are getting canceled for anything. Do we just simply render these niggas nerds and call it a day? Or do black people start to say, yo, they're only benefiting off us, but they don't care. And therefore we should um, boycott or some shit like that. But that also get, becomes a slippery slope as well. But I'm just wondering how far do we take the rooting how far do we invest in people that seemingly don't invest in us? Obviously, there's things we can't avoid, right? The grocery store is going to be the grocery store. But, but the, you know, situations like this, do we move any differently? And if we don't, do we allow it? And therefore, do we root for each other? Are we supporting each other? Are we defending no. each other? Not, not, not me. I mean, <laughs> like, when I see this type of content, like, I think of, like, um, What's this woman's name? She looks like a male giraffe. Um, she had a talk. She was she was in radio. Oh, Wendy Wayne? Yes. Correct. <laughs> um God, that's crazy. <laughs> I mean the crazy what, part I, is exactly who he was talking about. And I thought <laughs> out of the names, the faces that popped in my head when he said it, male giraffe. Uh, that's the that's the <laughs> he just beat to it. She looks she looks like yeah i mean she looks she looks like she needs the, the things but um i i don't i just kind of dismiss them as like the, the kids table i don't really give a fuck one way or another like i i have a thing where i get to dismiss and shit. like once i've marked it as something beneath me or the or the conversation or or any level of having any consequence I just, all right, that's the kid's table. What happens at the kid's table? Nobody gives a fuck. Hmm. So I slot them over there. Because are they really shaking and making any waves? Like, really? Or is it just vacuous humor over there in the corner? It's not impacting anything one way or another. You're going to have tabloid work. Let the tabloids be the tabloids. You know, the niggas ain't shit. I, this is the first time I've seen any of this. I don't even know who these motherfuckers are. Yeah, I just saw them this weekend. There you go. So they're in, so they're insignificant. So therefore, we just say these niggas is cornballs and let it ride. I mean, you really got no choice. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's always like you have demographic and you have people that you know, all skin folk ain't kinfolk, right? And clearly, like I said, it's a whole different culture for them because they UK niggas. You feel me? So that's not, it's not really a concern or business of mine. And then too, like, like you know what I mean? What made it, and this is why I'm telling you, if you look at this, this is why American black women got mad and people are, are totally purposely jumping over this. Well, I don't say purposely, people are ignorant to the fact that they're jumping over this because they first dissed them, slighted them and said that in one of them, you know, the most, popular fucking cities in america they had no baddies there you know what i'm saying referring mm -hmm. to black women on a black woman's podcast you know mm -hmm. 